Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Immersive Engineering tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a look at everything you need in order to make biodiesel fuel, which will be used in the diesel generator, which we'll talk about in the next episode. So you're going to need a couple of things in order to make biodiesel. You're going to need actually three multi-block machines. They're all fairly easy to make. And we're going to start off with these two right in front of me, the industrial squeezer and the fermenter. In order to make these two multi-blocks, you need to craft, well, their blocks, industrial squeezer blocks and fermenter blocks. They both have a, basically the same crafting recipe. To craft them, you're going to need four iron ingots, two pistons, two iron mechanical components, and then in order to craft the squeezer, you need a cactus green, or any other green dye in the mod pack you're playing. And for the fermenter, you simply replace the green dye with blue dye, or in this case, lapis lazuli. Or lazuli, or you're supposed to pronounce it. And you get two blocks for that. In order to actually build these machines, you need... Eight. So you need eight industrial squeezer blocks, or and eight fermenter blocks. And for each of them, you're going to need 19 light engineering blocks. So you're going to need to put a lot of iron into these things. That's what I've noticed with immersive engineering. You need a lot of iron. Which is why we make the crusher to get more iron. Okay? So let's go ahead and build these things. We can build them eh, right over here. Doesn't matter. So the first thing you do is lay down a 3x3 three three of light engineering blocks and place one in the middle on top of that and then ring around it with squeezer blocks and cover the top with more engineering blocks. Now you simply whack it with the engineer's hammer and you've got an industrial squeezer. In order to make the fermenter you do the exact same thing. But you use fermenter blocks. Come on, fly. <laughs> the game is trying to interrupt my tutorial. And then you cover it again with light engineering blocks. Whack it with a hammer. And you've got a fermenter. They look the same, they're just different colors. I still think they look kind of cool, though. Okay, now let's go through these in order. For we're going to talk about the squeezer first, and then we're going to talk about the fermenter. If I right-click on this, you can see the GUI here. It's got recipes. If I click the button, you can see all the various recipes. You can actually squeeze coke dust into graphite dust, but mainly for making biodiesel, you need to produce plant oil. Okay? You can also get honey if you have a mod that has honey. But you get plant oil by squeezing things. You can squeeze seeds, you can squeeze hemp seeds, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, regular seeds. If we go into our engineer's manual, we can see a table. So, by default, you can put melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, regular seeds, apple cores, industrial hemp seeds, and then depending on what mods you have, they may or may not be compatible with the uh, with those as well. But you do get different amounts of plant oil out of them, with industrial hemp seeds always being the best. So, with that in mind, I have an industrial hemp farm over here, you know. And if you're not in creative mode, you can just bash those and get uh, your seeds. So I'm going to go into here and grab a stack of industrial hemp seeds and we'll stick them in this side. So you can put up to eight, nine stacks of items in here. Um, of course, you could also probably feed them in automatically with a conveyor belt. I'm not really 100%, but you probably can. And then you need to give it some power. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our LV wire connector. Slap it on top. You can also put power in through the bottom. There's another one of these ports on the bottom. Grab our... I don't want to replace that. Come on. Well, I should put one on this one first. Alright, me. Make a decent tutorial here. We'll connect these two together. We'll connect this one over to here. Now they've got power. They each store up to 32,000 RF. I've noticed that's... Uh, Pretty standard with uh, yeah, immersive engineering machines. They tend to store 32,000 RF internally. So now we can see 
that it is already producing our plant oil. Sweet. So it ticks down, it takes a certain amount of time, and it produces plant oil. With industrial hemp, 120 each. But you can chuck whatever you want in here. You can chuck different things in here. Uh, they don't have to be all the same thing. Use it as a way to get rid of unwanted seeds. I don't know. But when you want to get the fluid out of it, there, is, there are four ports on the bottom. There's one on each side. You'll notice that if I hover over most of the industrial squeezer, it just gives me the, 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 the power in it. But if I hover over one of these ports, it'll tell me how much of what is, uh, resource is in here. So 7,680 plant oil. If I take uh, my fluid pipes and slap it on there, then I can uh, get that out of there. And we'll do that momentarily. The fermenter has the exact same GUI. But it takes different right items, and it produces a different uh, resource. It produces, once that actually uh, ticks down, ethanol. Ooh, it takes a lot of melons. I didn't know that. Uh, ethanol. So if we go into the engineer's manual, and we tick ourselves over here, you can see what happens. This, these are the items you can ferment into ethanol. Melon, wheat, wheat grapes, sugarcane, apples, and potatoes. However, as we just saw, it takes a lot of melons uh, to produce uh, any of that. And it's pretty much already gone. So, eh, let's go in here, and we'll go to foodstuffs, and we'll see if there's some wheat in here. Where's the wheat at? It's not there. Well, we can we can chuck potatoes in, and we'll see how that works. We're making vodka out of potatoes, and we'll see how many it it, it pulls. Same amount. Okay, so you, it doesn't. It's not one to one. It takes quite a few of these items. So the fermenter will, I think, will run through items faster. But who knows? So we're producing ethanol. Now we need to put these two together to create biodiesel, and we do that using the refinery. Now the refinery doesn't have any additional blocks. It uses the standard blocks that we've been using. So let me show you how to build it. It's a little bit more complicated than these things. <laughs> I am sorry. But it's still not all that tr all that tricky. Oh. So we're going to build it right here. A little ways away from these things. What you want to do is you want to clear out a 3x5 area and then place down your steel scaffolding like uh, like this. Leave a space, place two more. So now we've got our 3x5. Take light engineering blocks, place them in a little cross pattern like that. Put a heavy engineering block, one on each side. Then you need to place a heavy engineering block on the top of this one here in the front, but a light one in the back. Okay, Leave the space between them empty, and then place sheet metal on the sides. Build it the sheet metal up one more, and there we go. Smack it with the hammer and refinery. I love the way this thing looks. We don't need the hammer anymore. The refinery looks really cool. It didn't used to look like this once they got the actual refinery in there. It looks sweet. So, as you probably noticed, there is a power port in the back, okay, to put power into. A little frustrating, since uh, our power supply is not back here, but we'll just go ahead and uh, do that. Plug this into our power, which we still have plenty of. And now our refinery has power. Now this this looks complicated, okay? The GUI, but uh, it's not. It's really not. So basically, it takes the two previous fluids that we made and converts them into uh, the biodiesel. Okay. Now this little red bit here is for a lever or other redstone signal, so that you can turn it off, just like the crusher. And the port down here at the front is the output port for biodiesel. Okay. These side ports, there's one over here, and one over here, are the ports for the fluids from these two uh, guys, okay? So, if I was actually building this contraption in a base, I would probably just uh, build these right next to each other, one on each side, so that it would just connect directly together. But if we connect this up, we can see that the plant oil is going in here. And if we... Run some pipe over in this direction. We'll need to take it up over the wire so we don't block it. That was a really annoying pipe run. 
Now we have ethanol in here and it automatically starts converting it into biodiesel. Now if we want it to stop doing that, we can pull the switch and then it'll stop making biodiesel. But why would we ever want that? We want power biodiesel. We want more power. So it converts ethanol and plant oil into biodiesel. And there we go. It can hold 12,000 millibuckets of each before it needs, you know, you know, before it runs out of storage space. You can, of course, pull them out using buckets. You'll, you'll notice that there are, uh, in fact, ports on this thing. But they're only for putting stuff in. You can't take the uh, plant oil or ethanol out, but you can get the buckets of biodiesel. So now you got a bucket of biodiesel. So we could put that in our biodiesel uh, generator in the next episode. So, that's it. That's actually it. It's really not that complicated. It, it really just takes quite a lot of iron to build these things, because light engineering blocks, you know, they take quite a bit of iron and, and copper. These iron mechanical components take iron. So, yeah, you need a lot of iron in immersive engineering. Um, but actually building it, not that complex, not that complicated. Again, like I said, I recommend you just build these things right next to the refinery, because they will automatically plug together and uh, put in the, the fluids. So that's it for this episode. Biodiesel's pretty cool. In the next episode, we'll build the actual biodiesel generator. I split it up because the biodiesel generator has some more new blocks and stuff. And we'll also talk about uh, the uh, advanced windmill, because I didn't mention that yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, stay tuned for future videos, future content. Let me know what you think about the new thumbnail. I modified it slightly. Um, I'm Sentinel H. And I'm signing out.